Alright folks, listen up. See, now you might notice right now that I'm wearing glasses. And now, the first thing I want to tell you is, uh, mind your business, okay? I think they look good, alright? I'm a bit, I'm a big glasses guy, and I'm not upset about it. My eyes don't seem to function, but that's right. They look good, huh? Yeah. You think so? I think they look nice. I didn't even realize. I'm actually very upset about it. When I open my eyes, I expect to be able to see Alright, the light hits these pupils, and my brain does the function, and I see shit, okay? I don't want to wear these, bro. I'm going to tell you right now that this is bullshit. So mind your business, don't worry about it, don't even mention it. Number two, today, we have the Rossi Lago. We picked it up from the mechanic two weeks ago. We're going back to the mechanic to drop it off. But listen, we're gonna go to the mechanic, we're gonna drop the Mercy Lago off, pick up my Audi, it's got a Hellcat engine in it, all right? You're gonna find out. And then we're gonna go drive ATVs and ride off into the sunset. But before we go, I have to tell you guys, all of you motherfuckers on the internet that are trying to tell me that Lamborghinis are impractical, let me show you right now, okay? So we're going on a trip, me and my buddy Davi, and we have shit to bring. Not a problem. You got my jacket, you got my bag, you got my suitcase. You don't know what you're talking about. And let me tell you right now, it's so practical, in fact, when some Edgar and his muscle car parks right next to you for no reason, the doors go up, okay? So you don't have to push it out and hit their car, they go up. So I'm telling you right now, if you're looking at a little Toyota Sienna or like a Honda Odyssey, no. You got a Mercy Lago, buddy. Now let's go. Come on. Come on. and now we're talking. We got this car from JR Garage. I haven't talked about that. I don't really know if anybody gives a that we got this car from a YouTuber. Maybe I'll talk about it one day. We got this car from JR Garage, but 10,200 miles. We're at 13 now, baby. Jeff, if you're watching this, I'm gonna tell you right now, you are a p You bought the car, you drove it 200 miles in a year, you had 21-year-old tires on it. I know damn well you never hit the speed limit in this thing because the tires were so goddamn dry rotted. If you hit the throttle, the back of the car would start bouncing up and down. Like, what are we doing here, fella? Don't be scared. It's not gonna hurt you. A manual one used to be like 150 grand, 2019. Now they're 600 grand. What's wrong with you people? Can you just relax, okay? For $600,000, people that actually drive them can't buy it. Now they're all locked up in garages. It's so sad. I don't know where I'm going with this, but anyways, Jeff, JR Garage, if you're watching this, uh, you're a coward. But thanks for the car, I guess. <laughs> My baby. I've been without my S5 for months now because the transmission was getting rebuilt. Now it has carbon synchros, buddy. Now listen, you and I are not the same. I have carbon fiber inside my transmission. It's not a big deal. But yeah, carbon synchros. They actually called me yesterday and said that it's really hard to shift now, which is like what we were trying to avoid in the first place by rebuilding it. You and all you Edwards with your stupid Hellcats, this is a real Hellcat, okay? And it's got four seats. Wait, a Hellcat does too. Um, it's, an, it's classy because it's an Audi. Classy, exactly. Yeah, it's classy. Luxury. I mean, I'm a classy guy, you see? Uh. Oh. oh, hey guys. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a Lamborghini. It's not a big deal, you know? It goes fast, by the way. Oh, did I mention it's a Lamborghini?
I was like, wow, I haven't driven this thing in so long. I can't wait to start it up. That was like so underwhelming. <laughs> but you'll see. Okay, it's basically a Hellcat. killing her and her horse. Yeah, I, uh, I watch F1, watch this Apex. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that was, that was good, that was a good one. I'm a race car driver, so it's actually not a big deal. Look at the shifter. This is neutral. What the f is this piece of shit? Why? Figure out how to turn traction control off. All right, Zabby, let's figure this out together. It's gonna be a little button, and the little button's gonna be like, oh, right there, right there. Oh, what, not even? Dude, that Camaro has like 700 horsepower. Got that red crazy. one right there. Yeah, I think it's a ZL1. But um, it's still a boat piece of shit. Yeah. So if you drive a muscle car, you can go for yourself. Yeah. I take it back. I don't take that back. All right, brothers. We're in an RS5 right now, and we're going to chase the S5 down these roads. Is this so much fun, Davi? Right? It's fun. We're going to have so much fun today. Dude. And tomorrow. So much fun. Look at the dash. You just click RS mode. Wait, work please. That's so bad. That's so sick. That is sick. Hey, uh, it's cold as fuck. And we have ATVs, UTVs. There's actually a dirt bike here, which is dope as hell. We got snowmobiles. Life is good, folks. My face is numb and I'm trying to talk faster, but I physically can't. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm ready. As I was saying, it's a new day. We're gonna go super fast and not crash and have lots of fun. Yeah. You really like that tree, don't you? Yeah, I can't get around. All right, let me try, let me try. 
Do I look like the kind of guy that hit the tree, Davi? Yeah. Start it. It's a pull. You pull it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Wait, do I have to turn the ignition on? Grish, how do I start this thing? Dude, Run, no pull, and go for it. Okay. Try it now. That might. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't even try it. Hi, boy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Do you know if there's a rear brake? Wait, never mind. That was a dumb question. Let's go. that boy I'm, I'm gonna catch that boy and I'm gonna touch him I'm gonna touch him sexually Listen, what a successful weekend, right? See, I'm happy, Davi's happy, everybody's happy. And you know what happy people do? They press subscribe. And if you don't press subscribe, you are depressed. You need a therapist. Your life needs to get back in order. But if you subscribe, my man, my dog, 